Welcome back to another Crimson Moon Battle Report. Today we're going to be playing some more classic battle tech. We're going to continue to play beginner, uh, the beginner's box, the quick start rules, and mostly because I have not purchased either the starter with the actual rules or the rule book. Trust me, it is coming later on down the line. But uh, we are going to add a few more things to kind of spice up this uh, this battle report using the quick start rules. We're going to be adding some extra terrain for the field. We're actually using the bigger terrain, which is basically just two maps, put them together. And I have been able to purchase other items. The only thing is I haven't got the book, but I did purchase a couple of extra mechs, or I should say a whole bunch of extra mechs. And I've been able to uh, get some of these uh, terrain mats, basically. And I'm hoping to later on down the road, purchase the actual neoprene mats which look really really nice and i think that'd be a lot better but i'm gonna go ahead and just go with the classic stuff and uh use it for this battle report now for the mechs we are going to be using two mechs this time around so it'll be two on two and uh we're actually going to be using pilots as well we're going to try that out and actually the two mechs that we'll be using are in the box but as little cardboard this time around we're going to be using the actual mechs themselves actual miniatures so we have a locust and this is actually uh the kelhounds mercenaries that's uh one of the teams that we're going to be using who have a gunnery skill of four we'll be using the locust lct 1e it's going to be armed with a medium laser small laser one medium laser and one small laser i guess those are on the right right arm and then the left arm and then for the uh, Thunderbolt we're going to be using, and that's the Killhound right there. And it's going to be piloted by Jaya Yavin. She'll be having a, a gunnery skill of a three. The piloting skill we won't be using in this game because unfortunately the rules to use a piloting skill is not in the uh, quick start. So we're just not going to use that. And when you're using pilot, pilots, it's recommended that you only use one pilot per side. And you kind of get the cost uh, about the same. So she costs five points for her special abilities. She'll have sandblast when shooting, uh, when rolling on the cluster hit tables. The successful LRM attack. Add the following modifier: plus four for short range, plus three for medium, and then plus two for long or extreme range. So she's also a weapon specialist, which with with a large laser. You apply minus two to hit. Uh, modifier when attacking with a large laser so she's actually really good at using her large laser so then uh, the thunderbolt is armed with one lrm 15 one srm 2 three medium lasers one large laser and then two machine guns and then of course that's all the shots that she'll be able to shoot for that round so then the tonnage on this guy is 65 with a tonnage of 20 so it's 85 um, so it's going to be a little lopsided but I wanted to give it a shot. Why not? Okay, so their opponent are going to be House Merrick. So we'll start off with the Griffin GRF-1N. And that's from the original Classic Battletech, that, the first video that I had done. And he's just going to be armed with an LRM-10 and one PPC. And then, of course, his shots. And the pilot will be Sigtrig Paulson. And I apologize if these are mispronounced. Doing my best. Piloting skill of a three, which of course we're not going to use, but his gunnery is a two, so he is really good at shooting. So he is a cost of four, and he also has a sand blast ability. When rolling on cluster table for successful LRM attacks, add the following modifiers to the roll. It's going to be plus four for short range, plus three to medium range, and plus two for long extreme range or extreme range. And very uh, weapon specialist is really good with his PPC. Apply a minus two hit modifier when attacking with a PPC. So it should be interesting how that's going to turn out. And then his compadre, newly painted, will be the Wolverine WVRSR, uh, 6R, I'm sorry. And that is the one guy that we just finished painting up. And he is going to be armed with a medium laser, an SRM6, an AC5, and then of course his shots. And his gunnery skill will be a four. So there you have it. It's going to be House Merrick versus the Kale and Hound Mercenaries for this battle report. Oh, and the uh, tonnage is, uh, like I said, is, is gonna be a little offsided. So 55 to 55, so it's 110 to about 85. So difference of what, maybe about 20 points, I guess, give or take. But 
I wanted to bring you guys more classic Battletech. I feel like we haven't brought it enough to the channel. We've only had that one demo. So we're going to go ahead and get a full game going. So for this mission, we're just basically playing the basic mission from the quick start rules, which is the first uh, army to pretty much take out the other army will be the winner of this game. There is another optional way you can play, which is, I believe it's four on four mechs, which I'm hoping to maybe bring later on down the line. If, if I haven't gotten the rule book yet by then, um, we'll be doing the four on four and you score by running your mechs off the board. So from one side to the other, or you also get points for it by destroying uh, mechs in the actual battlefield. So that'll be further down the line. We'll probably do that for the next one if we haven't gotten the rule book yet. So other than that, we're going to go ahead and get this game started. We're going to go ahead and roll and see where deployment's going to end us at. So rolling off to see who's going to take the initiative. So white is going to be Merrick. Blue will be the Kellhounds. And it looks like we got a seven for Kellhounds, five for Merrick. So that means that Merrick will have to deploy first and actually activate first. And we are deployed. The Wolverine on the left side, while the Griffin on the right, and right across from the Griffin will be the Thunderbolt, staring him face down, taking a little bit of cover. And then the Locust, gonna try and take on that Wolverine and see how that turns out. And uh, the House Merrick will be taking the first turn. So House Merrick will activate, then we're going to go ahead and move the Wolverine. He's just going to do a jump. So he's going to do one, two, three, four, five to try and get some cover from the incoming Locust. And he will land with his facing like that. So we're going to go ahead and put a red die and minus three, minus, or plus three, I should say, showing that he did jump. And uh, let me see. So after he goes, now it's going to go to the Kellhounds because it, it's a... Uh, alternating activation so he'll go once and then the the opposing team will go once as well so now we have uh, either the locust or the battle master so since the i mean the battle master thunderbolt so we're gonna go with the locust since we already know what the wolverine already did and the locust has a movement of either eight or a run of 12 hmm so he's just gonna go ahead and do a run so he's gonna move one two three four five six seven eight because of the light terrain and then nine and uh, see if he can't get a shot there so but he did run so it's going to be plus two okay so i was already getting a brain fart but i, I had to uh, had to look it up but for every hex you move as a certain modifier that you add. So for every five, it's gonna be plus two, but since he jumped, it's another plus one. So that's showing uh, the modifier for the attacker that's attacking him. And then uh, the Locust, since he ran, uh, he's actually at a two because he ran at least five squares. So that's, that's, uh, that's okay now. <laughs> I got it done. All right, so now it goes back to House Merrick. So now we're gonna go with the uh, Griffin and the griffin is i think he's just gonna go ahead and run the griffin has a movement of five run eight so i think we're gonna go ahead and run so he will do a one two three four five six seven eight he'll just boot right right next to this tree here he's not gonna be able to get into cover but at least he's in a a different area there get a little closer to his target so since he ran i'm gonna put a black die and he did move one two three four at least five so it's gonna be at plus two to his modifier so now it goes to the kill hounds and uh well that's a juicy target so we're not gonna we're gonna make sure we capitalize on that so the uh thunderbolt is just gonna go ahead and uh, move up so he has a movement of four. This would cost two. So yeah, we're just getting to some cover. So two to there. Now he only moves zero to one. So he's technically, he's just gonna be standing still. So it's just a walk, but a six will show that it's at plus zero modifier since he didn't move that many hexes. Okay, and without, uh, with that, it's gonna go to the shooting phase. 
So House Merrick has to nominate all their shots. So he doesn't have line of sight to the locust, unfortunately. So his shots are gonna be invalid. So he's done. So now it's just gonna go to the Griffin. And Griffin is just gonna unload everything on the Thunderbolt. So the Griffin is gonna go ahead and start with the LRM. He's got one shot. So we're gonna be rolling two dice. And uh, let's take a look to see what the modifiers are. So he is one, two, three, four, five, six spaces away. So that's gonna put it in the short range because the uh, short is seven. So we're looking at a gunnery skill of a two. Remember it's Sig Trig that's, that's piloting this thing. So it's a two and he ran, that's a plus two. So it's gonna be four, zero, and short range is, is zero, so he just needs fours or better. We're going to see the LRM ten. Let's see if he gets a see if he gets a hit, and he nailed him. He got it with a six. So now it is an LRM. So I believe we need to take a look to see how many missiles hit. So it's going to be LRM ten. Well, the, the cluster hit table is right here. Now he does have a special piloting skill, which is the sand blaster and he gets better as he gets in short range so he's at a plus four to this roll so let's take a look to see what he's gonna roll here so it's gonna be an eight plus four that's gonna be a 12. so lrm 10 is gonna be 10 missiles so the lrms you have to divide by damage of five so let's roll to see where he's gonna be hitting the thunderbolt at the first location is double, it's a tan. Tan is going to be the left arm. That's gonna be a very chunky, it's gonna be a lot of left arms right here. So it's two, four, five, okay. And then let's roll for the next set of missiles. Another tan, same place. Two, four, five, all right. So now he's got his PPC. PPC is going to be ooh, just in short range. All right. So it's going to be two, uh, zero, but he ran plus two. So it's going to be a four. However, he is a PPC specialist. So minus two. So he needs twos or better. Hey, he got it with a double one. <laughs> So, uh, well, he hit. That's a two. So he just hit two plus. So that is a hit. So it's going to be 10 damage and it's going to be location four. Location four is going to be the right arm. And, oh man, too bad it wasn't the left arm. So 10 damage. Two, four, six, eight, nine, and 10. So he's taken a um, ton of damage on the arms already. And that's gonna be the Griffin's turn. So the House Merrick has done for the turn. It goes to the Kel Hound's turn to, to shoot. So now we're looking at the Locust who cannot shoot because there is at least three points of terrain that's blocking that side. So he won't be able to shoot the, uh, the Wolverine this turn. So it's just the gunfight that's going on over here. So the Thunderbolt just gonna open up on the Griffin with everything he's got. So he's got the LRM-15, the SRM-2, the me three medium lasers, one large laser, and then two machine guns. So starting off down the, we're just gonna go down the road. So LRM-15, it's within six. So it's, uh, oh, you know what I forgot? That would have been a miss. I forgot he was in light cover, so it should have been threes. So I guess we'll just, we'll go ahead and take this off. I'll go ahead and take that off because the, actually that two would have been a miss. And voila, just like that, magic. You gotta love these uh, these sheets that are all perfect for the dry erase. Perfect. Okay, here we go. So Thunderbolt's gonna blast. So he's within six. So we're looking at short range, so no modifier there, but he is a piloting skill of three uh, with a zero and he's at a plus two because of his uh, movement from his hexes. So we're looking at fives or better. Here we go, LRM-15. That hit with a six. 
So LRM15 is going to be the last column. And just like his counterpart, he does have plus four because uh, he has Sand Blaster as well. So plus four for short range. So we're looking at eight plus another four. That's 12. That's going to be max shots. So we're going to have 15 missiles going into them. So LRM is going to be divided into three. So that's three hits of five, uh, well, five damage in three sets. So let's roll and see where he's going to get hit. So the first one is a four. So four is going to be the right arm. So two, four, five. And then for the next one. Oh, that was almost double ones. That's a seven. Seven is a center torso. So at least he's spreading the love here. So we're looking at two, four, five. And then the last cluster is a 10. So 10 is the left arm. So yeah, this thing got hit all over the place. Okay. And now let's, without further ado, let's go down the road. Let's see, the, now it's the short, the short range missiles, which is uh, only uh, two. And he's in the same thing because that's a range, actually no, it's it's not short range, it's within six, so it's gonna be plus two. So we're looking at three, four, five, six sevens to hit. Seven or better. Uh, he, he nailed it. And how many missiles are gonna hit? SRM two. So it's a 10, and I believe it's only the LRM. Yeah, he only gets a bonus on the LRMs. So it's a 10. So no bonus here. A 10 on the two is gonna be just two missiles. Two missiles hit. So the first one will be an eight. Eight, oops. Eight is gonna be the left torso. Left torso is gonna be here, so that's just gonna be a point of damage. And then the other damage is gonna be an eight. I think eight is the same thing. Left torso. Yes, and I think these are two damage. Let me mark it twice. Cause I think these, the, the short, the short range missiles are two damage a piece. I'll look it up though, just to make sure. So yeah, I was correct. It's two damage per missile. Okay, so I did that right. So he got hit twice in the torso, but he's not done yet. Thunderbolts, those still blasting away. So we got three medium lasers. So let's go ahead and roll that. And the medium lasers, I think, are also short three, so it's going to be another plus two. So I believe it was sevens. So it was three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, seven or better. He goes. He's not in. He's not in cover. Sevens. He nailed it with a ten. So medium laser is five damage. Uh, I guess I just rolled the other two. So the second one hit it with a ten. So that's going to be ten damage so far. And then he got another five. So it's fifteen total damage. Location for the first one is going to be a five. So location five is the right leg, which is over here. Two, four, five. And then the other one is an eight. I think that's the arm. Eight is, uh, no, left torso. So another five damage. Two, four, five. If I can get that marked, there we go. And then the last damage is going into seven. Seven is the center torso. Another five damage. So it's three, four, five. All right. Thunderbolts bring in on the heat. One large laser. And he's a specialist in the large laser. So he's minus two. So large laser, short range is five. So it's going to be medium. But because of his piloting, uh, or his uh, his ability, that modifier is going to be negated. So it's just going to be a three, and then four five because he ran or he ran. So fives are better for the large laser. Uh, he just nailed it. So large laser is eight damage to location eight. Oh man, this guy's taking it really hard in that eight. So left torso again. So it's two, four, six, eight. He only has three points left on that in that little section. That thing is being completely blown away. 
And then he's got two machine guns. This is two damage a piece. Uh, actually, he can't shoot them. Long range, three. So the, the machine guns won't be able to get shot, but everything else shot. So I'll go ahead and adjust these shots. And I believe that's going to be the end of this turn. So who is going to take initiative for turn two? White is House Merrick. Blue is Kellhounds. Oh, geez. So House Merrick is going to take the initiative. So Kellhounds are activating first. So we're going to go ahead and activate the Thunderbolt first. And he is just going to do a walk. So he will go one two, three, four, so that he can still benefit from some cover there. But he is not gonna walk enough, so that means it's gonna be zero modifiers, and he walked. So Merrick not taking any chances. They're gonna wait to activate the Wolverine. So the Griffin's gonna activate, and now he has taken quite a bit of damage, so he's gonna need to take some cover. So he's just gonna go ahead and run. So his running is an 8, because he doesn't want to get shot to pieces. So he's going to move 1, where is he at, there he is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and actually he will stay, actually before he turns like that, actually he's going to have to turn, no. Because he only has two left. So he wouldn't be able to reach there. So he's going to stay in some cover. So he did run. Which is going to put it in the black. And he only moved one, two, three. So I believe that is a minus or a plus one to the shot. So we're going to put a one there. So the Kellhounds are just going to do a little bit of a retreat here. They don't want to have the risk of getting shot in the back. So he's just going to run. He's going to move one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he'll be facing straight. Actually, he could do one more. Eleven, because he runs twelve. So he moved one, two, three, four, five hexes. So it'll be a plus two. And he ran. So now the Wolverine's turn. He's just going to jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, putting him there, or he can actually do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that'll put him out of range. So he's going to jump to there, facing straight, and he'll be out of his arc to shoot, so that's going to leave him open for a shot. Kilhans activate first. The uh, Locust cannot shoot. He doesn't have a line of sight, so he is done. However, the Thunderbolt has a full line of sight there. He's going to be going through some rough terrain there, but he can shoot. So he's going to unload all the weapons that he's got except for his machine guns because they're going to be out of range. One, two, three, four. It's just four. So starting with the first gun, we're going to go down the list. We've got the LRM. That's within... One, two, three, four, four. And we're looking at a piloting skill of a three. And it's zero because of his base, but it's plus one because he ran. So we're looking at three, four, five, six, and then seven because of his cover. So seven or better. Gets him with a nine. And uh, it's plus four because it is in close range. So it is six, uh, 11, 11, the cluster for 11, and I think it's a 10. So it's going to be 10 missiles hit. It was a 10, right? Uh, oh, it's an LRM 15. LRM 15 is actually the last bracket. So it's 12. So it'll be uh, two, two damages, two damage of five each, and then one at two. So the first one. Location is going to be a 9 for the first 5 points. 9 is the left leg. So 2, 4, 5. And then he's got another 5 points to the 10. 10 is the left arm. 
So it's over here. Two, four, five. And then the last two points is a six. Six is the right torso. So now we're bleeding into this. Here we go. So one and two. So going down the line, we got that SRM2. Needing the same thing. Actually, that might be a medium because the uh, short range is within three. So it is four. So it is medium. So it's plus two. So we're looking at uh, skill of a three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine. So nines are better. Gets it with a 12. Nice. Very nice. And the whole board just moved. So I got to move everything back. So got it with a 12 and how many missiles hit? So it is three, four. Four on the two is going to be just one missile. So two points are going into seven. Two points into the seven. That's going to be the center torso. Getting dangerously damaged here. So he's not feeling too great about that. So now that was the SRM. So now three medium lasers. So medium lasers are going to be short is a three. So it is long. It is going to be a medium range. So it's going to be five, six, seven, eight, nine because of the hexes. So nines are better for the first one. He gets it with a nine. And then the second one it misses with an eight. And then the, the third one gets it with a nine. So two points, two damage fives are coming towards the griffin. So the first one is going to be on location five. Location five is the right leg. So two, four, five. And then the last one is location six. Location six is the right torso. Right torso. So five more damage. Two, four, five. And still wanting to share some love. Got the large laser going to be shooting. And it needs the same thing. Or is it? Let me see. Large laser... Short is a five, so actually I think it's within five. So it's one, two, three, yeah. So it is short range, so no modifiers there. So it's just gonna be the three, basic zero, four, five, six because of the cover, seven because of his movement. So seven or better, he gets it with an eight. So location, location five. Location five is going to be the right leg. And that's what, eight points of damage? It sure is. Eight points of damage. So three, six. There goes the leg. So the griffin can no longer move. The leg has been completely blown apart. So with the leg destroyed, that means that uh, he can no longer move and he can't twist either. He can't do any of his uh, facings. So he is in deep trouble. So he needs to do some major damage right here in his turn. So actually, that's going to be off with the Kelhound. So now it's going to go to the Merrick. So let's start off with him. Start off with uh, the Griffin. Griffin is going to go ahead and shoot his LRM. So his skill is a two. So two. Oh, is it? Uh, it's going to be short range because it's uh, within seven. So it's two. Uh, he ran three, four, five, six, seven, and it's a zero. So it's just sevens are better. Uh, that would do nice go seven or better gets it with an eight how many missiles hit so it's an 11 but it is close range so it's plus four so it's going to be the, the the highest bracket so lrm 10 lrm 10 is going to be 10 missiles so two sets of five damage piece so the first one hits the eight and eight is going to be the left torso. Left torso. So three, four, five. And then you're looking at the other five. Eight again. So eight is the left torso again. So three, four, and then five. And then last but not least is gonna be his PPC. 
So PPC, that's going to be still short range. So zero minus two. I forgot this guy's minus two also because of his uh, laser. PPC is minus two. So we're looking at uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No modifier. So he needs fives. Got it. And location six. Location six is going to be the right torso. Right torso, so it's a whole whopping 10 damage. Tearing that up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. Take care of that. And I believe that's going to be it for that amount of damage there. So now it's just going to go to the Wolverine. And let's see if he can't make some noise on this locust. So he is going to shoot everything. So actually before we do that let's go ahead and make sure what we roll what we need to roll all right so his uh base gunner is a four seven because he jumped seven eight nine because of his movement ten because of cover so we're looking at ten close range so it's, it's gonna be zero so he needs tens or better so uh, i really want to shoot everything at ten or better Short is three, so there's no there's no other modifiers. So yeah, why not? Medium laser. Let's start with the medium laser. He needs ten. First shot. Oh, I missed it with a missed it with a nine. Come on. The the short range missiles. Tens. Nope. Missed that as well. And then last but not least is the AC5. Tens. No. He completely whiffed everything. So actually, that's going to be the end of turn two. But Merrick is in some trouble because now that he can't move, this Thunderbolt's just going to run right behind him. And uh, he's in trouble. Turn three. Boo is Killhounds. So it's tied. So let's reroll that. And looks like it's going to be the Kellhounds taking the initiative. So starting with Merrick, activating first. So Merrick really can't do anything with the Griffin because he can't move. He can't do anything. So they'll activate him. He's just going to stand still. So that means he's just going to be white and he's going to remain how he is. And back to the Kellhounds. <clears throat> Thunderbolt's going to activate and he's going to run. So he has a running of six, not very fast, not very speedy, but he needs to get right behind this guy. That way he won't get any shots. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six. Unfortunately, he's not gonna be able, he's not gonna be able to clear anything there. So I'm wondering maybe I shouldn't have put him here instead. Yeah, you know what? We'll just do that because we don't want to give him any opportunity. To, to get free shots at me with no cover. So we're going to move him here. And then next turn, we should be able to, to jump right behind him. So he's going to at least have that heavy cover. So Wolverine's going to activate. And he's just going to try and get away from this Locust. So he has a jump of eight, which is what he's going to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he will have his back kind of towards this way. Because he needs to hurry up and come over here to try and help out the Griffin. So he's going to end up like so, but at least his back won't be to the Locust. So he jumped. So that'll be a red. And he's going to be at a four because he jumped more than at least eight or at least seven hexes. So he'll be at the penalty of four. So now we have the Locust. Locust is, Locust is going to run. So he's going to do one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven. He's gonna end up like that. So that way he can finally have a shot at the Wolverine. Starting with House Merrick. Here we go. So uh, the uh, Wolverine is gonna have line of sight there. So he's gonna go ahead and do all his shots there. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five for the distance. He's gonna unload everything he's got. So he's got a gunnery of four with his medium laser. So we're looking at four, 
the range is going to be plus two, so it's six. Seven because he jumped. Actually, no. It's actually seven because he jumped right now. Seven. Eight, nine because of the, the range. Ten, eleven because he ran. Or actually because uh, that's how many hexes that he ran. So, elevens. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's being so hard. But let's do it. All right, medium laser, elevens. No. Second thing, SRMs. SRMs are probably uh, long range. They're six. Actually, no, it's not. I think it was five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So it's still medium. It's all mediums. Actually, the AC is going to be short. So 11s, double ones. Okay. Uh, so the AC5 is going to be short. So it's plus zero. So I think he's going to need eights. So it's four, seven, seven. Actually, he's going to be going through that. So it should have been 12 for the other one. So four, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 so he needs 11s that's even without the the longer the the range nah he missed all right so that's going to be it for the for the wolverine and this might be the last shot that the griffin has oh let's see if he can make a count he's unloading everything on the uh thunderbolt starting with the lrm so short is seven so we know it's close range so we're looking at a gunnery of two three four because of the cover no penalties on because they didn't move far enough so two three four and i believe that's it because the range is no no modifier so fours are better fours are better so he hit how many missiles hit so it's eight plus four so it's 12 that's going to be the top bracket so it's a 10 10 is 10 missiles so we're looking at the first damage of five is going to be at the seven so seven is the center torso so three four five and then the next set three oh man close to that two three is the right arm right arm hasn't taken uh, any damage so it's five uh, five more so it's two four five so now the big one is the PPC. So actually he needs twos here because of the minus two, because of the, the because it's sig trig, sig trig. So he hits and location seven. Center torso, 10 points of damage. So two, four, six, eight, and 10. He's soaking it up. But that's going to be it for the Wolverine. I mean, the Griffin. He's all out of shots. So on to the Kale Hounds and let's see what they can do. Kale Hound shots are coming up next. And let's go ahead and do the Locust. Locust, uh, I believe it was five away. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five away. So we were looking at a skill of a four. Uh, medium lasers are going to be short three, so it's going to be mediums. So we're looking at four, five, six, ten. <laughs> ten, and he is going to some cover, so that's eleven. So eleven or better for the first medium laser. No, missed. And then let's go ahead and do the next one, which is same thing. Uh, small, Actually, a small laser cannot reach, so it's just the other medium laser. No. So that is going to be it for the Locust. He is done. So now on to the big show. Here we go. Thunderbolt, can you take out the Griffin? So he has a base of a three. Should be all close range. He's unloading on everything. So first the LRM. So he is needing three base, four because of the cover. Zero because he didn't move or anything. So three, four. Okay, here we go. Fours are better. And he hits it. And how many missiles? It is close range, so it's plus four. So that's going to be uh, max. So it's going to be 15 missiles. So the first set of five is going to go to the eight. So eight is going to be the left torso. Eight. And that means that whole arm is blown off completely. And I believe it bleeds into here. So that was three... 
four, five. All right. Next one is a nine. Nine is going to be the left leg. So here is three, two, five. All right. And then the final set of five. So it's a six. The right torso. So we're looking at two, four, five. All right. So now his next weapon, which is going to be the SRM. And short is three, and he is within three. One, two, three. So it is it is going to be zero, zero uh, minuses. So needing fours, hit again. And it's uh, four. Let's see. Four is going to be on the SLRM2. It's going to be one missile. So one missile hit. So two points of damage going into the eight. So I believe that's just going to bleed into... Eight is the left torso, which is already blown off. So it's going to be two points. So we are just four points away from blowing away the Griffin. So let's see what else we got. The three medium lasers. So short is three. So it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be short because it's within three. So first one, fours are better. Hit. Second one, hit. And the third one, hit. So the first set of five is in location five which is the right leg, which has already been destroyed. So it's gonna go up to here. So it's three, four, five. Second shot. Five again is the right leg, which is already destroyed. So it's gonna transfer. So he had three left there and then two more here, two left. Five again, that's gonna blow him up. So five is the is the right leg again. Right leg is just going to transfer up. That's blown up, and it's just going to transfer to the middle, and that means that the Griffin has been destroyed. So end phase, he's going to go down, and we're just going to clear everything off, and we will roll to see who's going to take the first turn. Wolverine, you got a lot of work to do, buddy. So rolling for initiative. White is going to be Merrick. And Merrick takes it. So, Kellhounds, you're going to activate first. So, knowing that we have no problem over here, so the Thunderbolt is just going to go ahead and he's going to turn. Let's see. One, he's going to do, he's going to run. So, he's going to do one, two, three, four. Oh, actually, he's going to have to stay there because that's going to cost six and he'll be facing the wrong way. So he's just gonna face like so. And he actually did, actually looks like he could have just walked. So it would have just been one, two, three, four. So yeah, he could have just walked, his movement is four. So that is a walk, but he didn't move far enough. So he only moved, so was it one hex? So it's a zero, so he's gonna be at a six. Okay, so Merrick's gonna go and now he has to make a decision focus on trying to blow him up and expose his rear to this locus or try and take out the locus since we know he's been pretty badly damaged he's going to try and maybe get some cover in these woods so what he'll do is he'll go ahead and jump because uh, as far as I know, and this rule said uh, you, it doesn't say you can't jump into, into terrain so I'm going to go ahead and do it for this for this game, since uh, it doesn't really state in the actual quick start rule, so we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. He's gonna jump to there. So he will jump like so, and he will have his back just like that, so he can have shots, and he'll still have line of sight because it's only gonna go through one light cover. So now Locus is going to go, and he is going to go ahead, and let's see, can he get there just to walk? One, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and he'll be shooting through some cover. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and do a walk. He's got a walk of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Facing like that. And it'll be a rear shot. 
So the Kale Hounds are going to start blasting first. So it's going to be the Thunderbolt that's going to go ahead and strike first. One, two, three, four, five hexes away. So five hexes away means that the LRM is going to be in short and everything else will be the machine guns won't be able to shoot so we're going to shoot laser, the large laser the three medium lasers the srm and the lrm so the lrm is going to be in short range so we're looking at oh actually you know what i don't think i subtracted that so that should be 13 and that should be 47 but uh that's all right i'll, I'll do it after this so i'm gonna have to subtract two okay so piloting skill is going to be a three so three four five six because of the heavy seven because of he walked so that's seven and no modifiers for the range i think i've been messing up i think I, i've been kind of confusing my alpha strike rules with my uh, classic it's supposed to be plus one if they walk and i think i've been doing zero so i apologize for that if i if you notice that in the in the video and uh going forward from here I'll make sure they had the plus one for when they walk because uh, Alpha Strike is the one that you don't get any any modifiers when you walk. This game, yes, you do. You get plus one for walking. All right, so it's a three base. Uh, it's it's uh, close range. Four, five, six. Oh, actually, I forgot his jump. So it's a nine. So actually, no, it's a it's a eight. So three, four, five, six, seven eight nine oh and then plus one because he did jump so it's uh it's tens three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah tens we got it we got it finally we got it all right so the lrm he's needing tens or better uh ooh, missed it by one okay so now it's the srms tens are better missed with a seven and then we have the three medium lasers and actually the srm needed more because it's not short range it was another plus two so actually i think that would have missed because it was oh no 10 so i need 12s so the medium lasers here's it's gonna be three shots so i need i need box cars so first one missed second one missed and the third one missed okay and then the last thing is the large laser which is in short range so that one is going to need 10s. 10s are better to hit. Actually, 8s because he's a weapon master in the, the large laser. So 8 or better. He got him. 6, 7, 8. So location on the Wolverine is 11. Ooh, what is an 11? The left arm. And yeah, Wolverine is fresh. He has not taken any damage, but he's taken 8 now. So 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, so now that's going to be the Thunderbolt's turn. So now it's going to go to the Locust. Locust will be one, two, three, four away. So he can't shoot with the small lasers, but his medium lasers are going to open fire. So you're looking, we're looking at a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So he needs 11s. Oh, actually, it's it's short range. Yeah, uh, sure. Actually, no, it is medium. 11. So he can't hit. It's just gonna automatically miss because it'll take it over the it'll take it over the 12. Yeah, because he's a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven because he jumped, and then the range plus two. Oh man, Griffin did a good job. He uh he avoided all the shots there. So now it's just the Griffin that's going to open fire. He is going to blast the Thunderbolt and see if he can get some revenge here. So he is five away. One, two, three, four, five. So we're looking at a... It's going to be... The first two are going to be medium, which is a medium laser and the SRM. And then the AC5 is going to be short. So starting with the medium laser, it's going to be plus two. So we're looking at three seven eight nine ten eleven because of the range so he needs eleven or better 
So here we go, 11s, missed. And then the SRM6, 11s, nope, missed. And now this is short range for the AC5. So it's uh, not the plus two, so that means it's gonna be nines or better. Because everything else was 11s. And no, he missed. Moving right along, here we go. Who's gonna take the initiative? It looks like it's a five, so it looks like the Kel Hounds lost the initiative, so they're gonna activate first. So Kel Hounds are gonna activate first, and we're gonna go ahead and activate the Locust, and he's just gonna go ahead and do a walk. So he will move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and he will put his back like that, eight. Okay, so he's gonna be done. So he did a walk and he moved at least one, two, three, four squares. So it's gonna be, I believe it's a minus two from the, or plus two if I'm not mistaken. Correction, it's a plus one, not plus two. Okay, so it's gonna go to the Wolverine and uh, well, why not? He's gonna try and take a shot now, these rule set doesn't have anything for back shot, so it doesn't really matter. The only thing it's going to prevent is the locust from blasting him. So he's going to go ahead and do a jump. So he will do one, two, three, four, and be here like so. So that way he'll be out of his arc, and he will try and just take out the locust if he can. So actually with a jump, he moved at least one, two, three, so he at least moved uh, four squares. So it'll be two for the jump and then three because of the amount of hexes that he has. All right. So Thunderbolt wants a piece, so he's gonna run. So he's gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. Kind of a slow boy. And he moved one, two, three, four. So it's just gonna be plus one for whoever shoots at him. All right, on to the shooting, which actually it's going to be the Kelhans first. Locus, no shots, unfortunately. So it's going to go to the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt's going to blast right here. He is one, two, three, four, five away. So can't use his machine guns, but everything else is going to open fire. So we have the LRM, which is in short range. So it's going to be three for the piloting skill, two because he ran. So it's a five no cover but he jumped so it's a eight nine because he did jump so he needs nines or better nines or better come on let's get some and he missed okay so now it's going to go to the srm which this is going to be medium so it's plus two so now i think it's 11 because it's a three four five eight nine ten eleven so yeah elevens are better Ah, oh, missed it by one. Come on. All right, so now it's the medium, la the three medium lasers, which is the same thing. It needs 11s or better. Got three shots. Here's one. Missed it by one. Come on. Nothing there. And then the last one. Jeez. He is just missing these shots. Large laser. Large laser is going to be, uh, I think it's close range. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's five. So actually it's gonna be minus two. So you're looking at a three, four, seven, eight, cause he jumped. Wait, did I do that right? No, it's, I, I think I, it's, I only added plus one. So it's three, four, five, eight, nine, because he jumped. Minus two because of his expertise. So we're looking at sevens. Come on, sevens. And now he, he missed it. So that's gonna be it for the Thunderbolt. So now onto the Griffin, and he's just gonna unload on the Locust on his back. So first is the medium laser. So we're looking at uh, four, seven, and eight. Oh, and he's in heavy cover, so it's tens. So medium, la uh, medium laser, tens. No, no cigar. And now it's gonna be his SRMs. It's in short range. Same thing, it's gonna be tens. No, missed. And then the last thing is the AC5. Tens again. Now he's just rolling very bad. 
Here we go, rolling for the next initiative. White is Malik. And uh oh, Malik's going, have to go first. Kellhounds have won the initiative. So why ruin a good thing? He's just gonna go ahead and jump once again into the heavy terrain. So he's gonna have one, two, three, four, and he's gonna be facing back like that. And he jumped. So I keep messing up because it's only a plus three to his shot. So it should be just plus one because he jumped and the amount of hexes that he jumped. So it's one, two, three, four. So it's just gonna be plus two. So I'm gonna get these rule sets eventually. I'm gonna get them right. I apologize for everybody to everybody out there for this, but try my best, try my best. All right, here we go. So uh, now it's all Kell Hounds. So we're gonna activate the Locust and he's just gonna go ahead and do a walk. So he will move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then eight. He'll be able to at least shoot him from there. All right, so now it's gonna go with the Thunderbolt. Oh, actually, he moved uh, one, one, two, three, four hexes. So it's just gonna be plus one because he walked. All right, so now the Thunderbolt's gonna go and he himself is just gonna walk. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. And he's gonna be able to take a shot right there. Okay, so starting with the, the Griffin, he's gonna shoot first. So he's unloading on the Thunderbolt. So medium laser. So we're looking at four, seven, because he jumped, eight because of the cover, and the range is just gonna be zero. So he will unload everything on the Thunderbolt. So it was four, seven, eight. So eight or better. Eight or better, here we go. Medium laser, missed it by one. Goody. And then we have the SRM-6, short range once again. Missed it by one. What is the deal with these dice? Okay, AC-5, eight. And he completely whipped all his row, and that is the end of the Griffin's turn. So here we go, Kellhounds, starting their onslaught. The uh, Locust is gonna go ahead and blast. He's gonna unload everything right there in his back. So starting with the medium laser. So we're gonna be looking at fours, five because he moved six, seven, eight, nine. So we're looking at nines or better for the locust. So first medium laser, uh, missed. Second medium laser, ah, missed. So now he's got his small lasers, which is no negatives there. So it's just one shot. E actually, it's a uh, short one. So he's uh, right perfectly there. So he's gonna need the same thing again. So it's gonna be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here we go. Nines, first one, got it. And let's go ahead and roll the second one. Missed. So it's gonna be small lasers or three points of damage. Location eight. So eight is gonna be the left torso. So three points. Well, at least we got something going. Okay, so now Thunderbolt unleashing everything. So Thunderbolt LRM, it's gonna be short range. So oh, actually he should have had a white die and he probably would have been a plus one. Okay, so uh, he's looking at base skill of a three, four, four for the cover, five, six because of his cover, seven, eight because he jumped. So we're looking at eights or better. Make sure we do that one more time. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's a nine. So nines are better for the large for the large, long range, large, ah, he missed, it don't matter. Six, seven, he needs nines. So now it's the SRMs, same thing. It's gonna be short range, because it's within three. Uh, nope, missed it by two. And then he needs three medium lasers. Here we go, three medium lasers. First one, 
No. Second one. No. Third one. No. And then the last thing is going to be his large laser, which is uh, short range again, but it's going to be minus two because of his expertise. So we're looking at sevens. Oh my gosh. Six. And hey, the machine guns can finally shoot. All right, machine guns. It's going to be uh, medium range because it's within two. So it's another plus two. So actually, I think those are just going to miss. So it's just four, actually three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10 of that. Actually, he needs 11s. 11s, machine guns missed. Okay. Actually, he has two. One more. Nah, no. All right. So that's going to be the end of that. I'm going to deduct all the weapons that they fired, and we'll start the next round and see who's going to take the first turn. Who is taking the first turn? Looks like it'll be Cowhounds activating first. So we are just going to activate the Thunderbolt, and he's just going to move backwards. He's going to do one, two, three, four. And he moved one, two, three, four. He moved four, so it's going to be plus one. All right, so now it's going to be Merrick. Merrick is going to go ahead and move, and he's actually just going to walk. So he's going to do one, two, three, four, five. And, oh, actually he can't do, he's going to have to run. So I guess he'll run to there and then he will do five, six, and then seven. Like that. Uh, he could be facing this way. That's fine. He'll still have range. So he ran, so it's going to be the black and he moved, whoops, he moved uh, only three. So that's a plus one. One, two, three, yeah. Okay, so now it's just a Locust. Locust is, is just gonna do the same thing. He's gonna walk. So Locust is gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just be on his butt. All right, starting with the Kel Hounds, they're gonna start shooting. Starting with the Thunderbolt. It's gonna start blasting. So he is one, two, three, four, five, six away. So six away means that he's going to be able to pretty much shoot with everything except for the machine guns. So let's start with the LRM. Six away is going to be short range. So he's needing threes, four, five, six, because he's in heavy cover, and then seven. So he needs sevens or better. Two dice. Make sure I got that right. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then it was short range, so plus zero. Yeah, so sevens. Not today. Okay, so now we're looking at the SRMs, and that's going to be medium range. So it's another. So it's going to be plus two. So it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he needs nines. Missed it again. All right. So now it goes to the three medium lasers. We're looking at short range. So it's plus two. So it's going to be nines again. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine because of the range. All right. So first one hits it finally. Second one hits it finally. Wait, was it a eight or was it a nine? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, he missed that one. So he needs a nine. So he hit one and he missed that one. So it's going to be five points of damage. The medium lasers are five points. Location nine. Location nine is going to be the left leg. So you're looking at two, five. Blasting a little bit here and there. And then he's got his large laser. So this is going to be minus two. So it's going to be sevens. Oh, wait. What's the range on it? Large laser is actually plus zero. So it's one, two, three, four, five. No, it's, me it's medium range. Yeah, medium range is going to be 10. So it's still going to be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, back down to 7 because of his expertise. So 7s. Gets it with an 8. All right. 8 damage going into 6. So 6 is the right torso. So nothing here is damage. So it's going to be 8 points of damage. So 2, 4, six and eight okay 
I believe that's gonna be it for the Thunderbolt because his machine guns are not in range. So on to the uh, Locust and he's gonna open up. So start off, I guess we'll do his both as medium lasers. They're gonna be in short range, so it's plus zero. So we're looking at four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're looking at eight. First medium laser, gets it with an 11. Second medium laser, misses. So medium laser, I believe is five damage. Yeah, five points of damage. Location nine. Location nine is gonna be the left leg. So five points, we're looking at three, four, five. Okay. And now he just has his, is it small medium lasers? Or small lasers, I'm sorry, small medium, wow. Small lasers, so it's a range one, so plus zero. So once again, I believe it's eights. So three, four, five, six, no, sevens. He needs sevens. First one, miss with a double one, goody. And he missed that one as well. Okay, so Merrick lives once again, and now he's just gonna open up on the Thunderbolt. So I believe it was six squares away. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six is gonna put pretty much everything except for the AC5. So the medium laser is gonna be plus two. So we're looking at two, actually no, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He needs nines, no cover. For first one, misses it with a seven. And that was the medium laser, now it's the SRM. Same thing, he needs uh, he needs nines. Uh, make sure, it's four, five, six. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine because of the range, all right. Nope, he missed it again. So the last but not least is the AC5, which is gonna be short. So now we're looking at four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, and he just needs sevens, because the, the range is not there sevens there we go we got it so his ac5 is five points of damage going into seven five points of damage going into seven seven is going to be the center torso and he's already taken a whip in there so three four five but still still kicking taking initiative uh Kelhounds win it so malik is gonna go first Malik is just going to go ahead and jump, try and get some cover. So one, two, three, four into this heavy brush here. Be facing like that. So he moves one, two, three. So it's going to be at least one because of how many hexes, but then plus another one because he jumped. So he'd be at minus two. All right, so now it's going to be the Kell Hounds. And they have to hunt this guy down. So it's, uh, I guess with the Locust, we're just going to do a basic move. So what he'll do is he will do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He'll be like so. So he just moved. And I think he only moved for plus one since he walked. So he's gonna be done there. So now the Thunderbolt is gonna go ahead and run because he needs to get up there. So it's one, two, three, nah, four, five, six. So he ran one, two, three, four, five, at least five hexes. So he'll be at a plus two, I believe. So how's Malik? He's gonna go ahead and blast here. It's gonna be an open shot. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five hexes away. So he can pretty much blast with everything. So it looks like it'll be medium range for the medium laser and the SRM6, and then it'll be short range for the AC5. So starting with the medium laser, it's gonna be plus two. So it's gonna be four, five, six because of the range, nine because he jumped. And there is no cover, so 9, 10, 11 because of the modifier. Actually, that should have just been... No, actually, because that's how many squares they moved. So, yeah. So, it's 11, 4, 7, 8, 9 because of the range. 10, 11 because of how many hexes he moved. So, 11s or better. Here we go. 11. No. 
And then the second shot will be the SRM-6, which is the same thing. It's gonna be medium range. Nope, cut it with a seven. And then the AC-5 will be in short range. So that means he's gonna need uh, nines or better because the uh, short range is the, doesn't have a modifier. And no, he missed. Okay, so Kellhounds, let's unleash the fury. So Locust is gonna open up fire there. He'll be doing all four of his shots. So it's all gonna be close range. So zero modifiers for the range. So we're looking at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine because of the heavy cover. So nines are better. First is gonna be the two medium lasers. Nine, nope, missed it by one. Nines, nope, missed it by one. Now it's the small lasers and it's pretty much the same thing. No modifiers there, so it's just nines again. Uh, five, and nothing there either. So completely whiffed all the shots. Gonna change out some dice here because uh, those blue ones are failing me. Thunderbolt's gonna shoot now. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five away. And five away means it's gonna be short range for his LRM. And then long, uh, medium range for his SRM, medium lasers. And that's about it because his machine guns are gonna be out of range. All right, so starting with the LRM, it's gonna be plus zero. So we're looking at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He needs nines or better nines or better there we go nine nope got it with a seven nothing there then it's the short range missiles same thing uh actually no this is plus two so it's going to be 11s first one missed and then he's going to need his uh three medium lasers here we go three mediums and need 11s missed missed and missed and then the last but not least will be the large laser, but this will be at a minus two and it is short range. So we're looking at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nothing for the modifier. So he needs sevens. Come on, get the seven. No, he cannot. So once again, no, all shots are just going haywire and let's go on to the next turn. Who's taking the next round? Uh, looks like Kellhounds are gonna take initiative, so Malik's gonna activate first. Malik activating first, he's just gonna go ahead and do a walk. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. Actually, you guys just gonna have to run. Five, six, seven, eight. And he'll put himself like that. And it's mostly because he can't shoot anything while jumping. So he moved uh, one, two, three, four, four squares. So actually he didn't walk, he ran. So it's gonna be that many minuses because of the hexes. So now it goes to the kill hounds and Locus is gonna activate first. So he's gonna go to, he was facing like that. So it's one, two, three, four, five six and battle master is just gonna actually he's just gonna do one he's just gonna walk two three and just get in some cover and just open up there so it uh, looks like he didn't move fast enough so it's just gonna be zero for uh, modifiers and malik shoots first so malik shooting everything at the thunderbolt He'll have range and everything, and it's uh, one, two, three away. So it's all going to be in short range. So medium lasers first. Come on, Malik, let's get some damage here. So we're looking at four, five, six because he ran, seven because of the cover, and nothing there because uh, he didn't move enough squares. Sevens. He still can't hit it. Jeez, come on, man. What's up with these dice? The SRM, not only that, I'm running out of shots. Look at this, I'm down to 13 and eight. So the AC5 only has 13 left and then the SRM, there's only eight shots left. Okay, so the SRM is gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be uh, sevens. No, not today. 
And then the last thing is AC5. AC5, same thing, it's gonna need sevens. There we go, finally we got something. Okay, good, that's a good start. So it's uh, location six, five points of damage. Location six is gonna be the right torso. Five points, two, four, five. He's taking the damage, but man, he just can't, he just can't get the hits. All right, so now he's gonna withstand the fury here. So here comes the Locust, Locust going first. He's gonna shoot, unload everything. And he's got his uh, medium lasers first. So everything's gonna be short range. So we're looking at four, uh, five because he walked. I guess I forgot to put a die here. So four, five, uh, six, seven because of the heavy cover. So four, five, six, seven because of the cover and eight because of the hexes. So eights are better. Here we go. First medium laser, got him. Second medium laser, no. So the first set of five damage is gonna go to location seven. Location seven, center torso. So it's two, Five, okay, so now we're looking at the medium lasers and it's gonna be the same thing. So it'll be four, five, six, seven, eight. So needing eights. Eight or better. Missed, and second one, missed. All right, so that is it for the locust. So now it's a thunderbolt within three so everything will be in range so we're looking at the lrms which is plus zero so we're looking at three four five six seven because of the cover so seven or better lrms got it with a set, six seven how many missiles hit nine then plus four because it's in short range so it's going to be full bracket i think it's 15 hit 15 missiles uh, yep, 15, 15 is 15. So three sets of five damage. Location is nine. So location nine is the left leg. So two, four, five, one away from blowing that leg away and he can't move. Second set is a five. Five is the right leg. So two, four five okay and then the last one come on give me another right give me another left leg another left leg nine left leg there it goes it's a it has been ripped up so he had one left there one two and then it's gonna go up but now he can't move so it's gonna be three more okay so that means that he cannot move anymore no more jumping around he is on his last leg. So the next thing is the SRMs. That's gonna be in short range. So that means it'll be uh, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven or better. Short range missiles. That missed. And then we have the three medium lasers, which is gonna be the same thing, seven or better. So it'll be four, uh, I mean, sorry, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven or better, three medium lasers, here we go. Sevens, got one, two, and three. So 15 points of damage, here we go. So the first five is going to the three, the right arm. So two, four, five. And then the next point, next five points. Ooh, that's the head. That take out the head? No, it does not. So it's three, four, five. Oh man, come on, give me another box cars. Get a headshot right here. Last one. Here we go. Headshot. No, it's eight. So eight is the left torso, which that's already taken quite quite a bit of a pounding. So we're looking at two, four, five. All right. So the last thing is left is the large laser. So I believe it's gonna be fives because he is plus, he's at minus two because of his expertise. So we're looking at three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, he needs fives. 
Don't mess this one up. Oh, come on. He missed it. Okay, so now we have is the two heavy machine guns, which is plus four. So we're looking at three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He needs elevens. So first one, no. And then the second one, no. But the damage has been done. And that means that Merrick cannot move anymore. So pretty much it's going to be, he's going to be at the mercy of the Kellhounds. Initiative. It's going to be the Kellhounds activating first. But to be honest, I don't think they really have to move. But uh, let's see. We'll activate the Locust. He's just going to stand still. So that means that he's just going to be zero and he's going to be at a six. So he's not even moving. And then uh, Merrick can't move. The, the Wolverine can't move. His leg's blown off. So that means that he's just going to be at a standstill. I think I think you put a six as well, if I'm not mistaken. That adds no bonus modifiers. And then uh, uh, does he want to move? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. He'd have to run. And then he'd get, he wouldn't, he technically wouldn't be at his back arc because he could still see him here. So I guess he would just, he would just benefit from that cover. I think he's going to, he's going to stay there, to be honest. And see if he can't weather the storm. Okay, here we go. So standing still. So uh, starting off with Merrick, shooting first. Actually, no, it's the Calhounds going first. So here we go. Starting with the Locust, he's going to go ahead and just open fire everything at the good old Wolverine. So we're looking at the two medium lasers. So it's a four, zero, because there is no, is he stationary? And then uh, same thing over here, zero, so it's just four, five, six, because of the heavy cover. So sixes. So here we go. Uh, missed it by one and he got the hit. So five points of damage going into eight. Eight is going to be the left torso. So two, four, five, this is whole row right here. Okay, so the small lasers is pretty much the same thing. Four, no bonuses, is sixes. Sixes because of the heavy cover. Uh, hey, he got, a six. he got a six. So one hit and he missed that one. So at the, I believe it's three points of damage going into location 10. Uh, yeah, three points of damage. Location 10 is the left arm. Three points is just going to be all that. And now on to the big boy, Thunderbolt. Let's do this. Come on. Let's take this guy out. So it's within one, two, three. So it's going to be pretty much, once again, everything is in short range. So the LRM. So we're looking at three. No modifiers there. So it's just fives. Because no modifiers either way, all the way around. Everybody stood still. Fives. Oh, come on. Missed. Short range missiles is still plus zero. So fives. Oh my gosh, now we're starting to whiff everything. Come on, man. Three medium lasers. Need fives. Uh, that's cocked, but he, he's gonna hit, yeah. Six. Uh, and the last one, uh, he hit with a six. So two sets of five damage. The first one's going into five. So the right leg. So that's uh, three, four, five. And then the other one is going into six. Six is the right torso. So we're looking at two, four, five. Okay. So now it's just gonna be the one large laser. So it needed, he needed fives, three, four, five. So it's gonna be threes because uh, He's minus two to hit, so he hit it. Eight points of damage, going into seven. Eight points of damage, going into seven. Seven, there's a torso, so it's three, six, seven. And then the machine guns, I believe are, uh, they might be a little bit lower, let's see. So it's three, base, base, 
but range is plus four, so it's seven, eight, nine. He needs nines. So first one, missed. Second one, missed. Double ones. And now it's just the Wolverine. Wolverine's gonna go ahead and open up. So he's got his medium laser. So no modifiers here as well. So you're looking at four, and I think it's a short. It's all short range. Yep, it's on. So no mod, no modifiers there. So it's just four, five because of the light cover. So five, and that's a drop die. Let me just get another die here. So he he hits it. So it's uh, location two. Uh oh. So it's going to be three uh, five points of damage to location two, center torso. Oops, let's scoot that guy over. Five points of damage. So it's three, four, and then five. Oh man, he's almost dead too. Get another couple of lucky shots. He could take him down. So the SRM, uh, it's gonna be uh, range three, so it's still zero. So he's within three. So need fives. Got him with a 10. How many missiles? So it's a five. Take a look at this this thing is i think it's uh what was it a srm oh he's over here uh srm6 srm6 so five is going to be three missiles three missiles hit so the first set of two is going to be 11 11 is the left arm so it's uh two points i believe it's two points isn't it yes two damage two damage each so second missile Eight. Eight is the left torso over here. So two more points. Okay, and then the last set of two points is gonna be five. Five is gonna be the right leg. Oh man, he's got he's got health for days on the on his legs. No one's hit his legs at all. Oop, my marker's starting to dry out, so I gotta cover it. All right, so there goes the missiles. So now is the AC five. He's a uh, four five fives. Fives are better. He nailed him. So here we go. What location? Location eleven. Location eleven. Oop, wrong guy. Location eleven is the left arm. So and that was five five more points. So it's two. And five, three more, and he takes out the arm. Jeez, these mechs are taking a beating. But that's going to be it for this round. So now, let's see who's going to take the next round. So all white is Malik. The other two colors are going to be the uh, Kellhounds. So Kellhounds are going to act. Uh, are going to take the initiative. So Malik's going to go first. Of course. He can't move, so he's going to stay with that. And I don't think these guys are going to move either. They're going to try and just finish him off here. So, Loka staying. He's staying, stationary. So, let's go into the shooting. So, starting with the Griffin. See if he can't take out the Thunderbolt. So, he's going to have the same thing. I believe it's a 5. So, we're looking at medium laser. It's a 4, 5... No other bonuses. Uh, he gets it with a six. Medium laser is location seven. Medium laser is five damage. Location seven is center torso. Uh, that's going to be it. He's going to blow him up. Two, four, five. So he's going to go down at the end of this turn, but he still gets his shots off. So, since we know he's going to be destroyed, uh, well, we'll just go ahead and roll it just for fun. He's see what else he would have hit. Because he doesn't have line of sight to the locust. So the SRM would have been in fives also. Got it with a seven. How many missiles? Two, I believe it's just one. SRM, actually no, it's two. It's two. Two missiles with a SRM. Oh, it's a SRM six or a five? Yeah, it's a six. So it's two missiles. Location 11. Location 11 is the left arm. So two more points. And then finally, the, the other two points is an eight. Eight is going to be the left torso. So it'll be that point and that point there. And then last but not least, he's going to go ahead and shoot his AC5, which is going to be uh, plus zero. So that means 
He needs fives again. He nails it. Location three. AC five is five damage. Three is the right arm. So two, all that right there. But we know for sure the Thunderbolt's gonna go down at the end of this turn. So let's see if the Kellhounds can finish him off because now that the Thunderbolt's gone, this Locus is, I don't know. Could anything is, well, I guess it's still kind of over because I mean, he's just gonna stay behind here. He could just blast him to death since he can't move. All right, but let's go ahead and finish it out here. So Thunderbolt, he's gonna go ahead and shoot. He's got his LRM. So we're looking at three, four, five because of the cover. Fives, nails it. How many missiles? He's in close range. So it's gonna be 415. So the first set of five going into location 10. First set of five, location 10 is the left arm. So that's gonna blow off his arm. And then the second set of five, you're looking at six. So six is gonna be the right torso. So three, four, five. He only has one left on there. Actually, I think he has two left. Oh no, he has one left. So last set of five is eight. Eight is the left torso. So that's gonna blow this off. That's three, four, five. And we still have more shots to do. So we have the SRM, it's gonna be the same thing. Plus zero is within three. So he is needing three, four, five because of the cover. Fives, nailed it. How many missiles? Nine or eight. Oh no, nine, I'm sorry. Nine with an SRM two. SRM two, nine is gonna be just two missiles. So two damage a piece. So we're looking at eight, location eight is gonna be the left torso. That's already blown off. So two points there. And then the next two is a nine. Nine is the left leg. Left leg has already been blown off. So it's gonna transfer up and then it's gonna go inward. So two more points there. And then he's gonna have his three medium lasers that are gonna shoot it off. So no modifiers, we're looking at three, four, five because of the cover. First one, hit. Second one, hit. And the last one, hit. So another 15 damage coming. So first one's gonna hit the five location. Five location is the right leg, which is right here. So it's two, four, five. So next five points is going to six. Six is gonna be the right torso, which uh, is gonna be two and it's just gonna transfer in. That's gonna blow them up, three, four, five. That's gonna be pretty much the end of the game. So the only last thing we would have is the PPC, or not the PPC, his uh, large laser, which he would need threes to hit. He would hit location, it'd be 10. 10 would just go to the left arm. Left arm's already blown off, so it would just, it would all go to this middle area and nothing transfer once it's, it's gone to there. But once you've taken out the center torso, it's pretty much a game. So that means a Thunderbolt, at the end of this turn, Thunderbolt would fall, but so would the Griffin, uh, the Wolverine. So the only one left victoriously standing would be the Locust. And with that, the Kellhounds would take victory on the battlefield. And this was awesome. Man, it, it, I'm just rolling really bad, folks. I am so sorry that I rolled a bunch of twos and threes. And it, I, I think that just felt like, uh, almost felt like this game was never going to end because I couldn't hit anything. I kept rolling really bad. But, I mean, you look at these markers. These mechs took a pounding. They took a pounding big time. The only one unscathed, look at that. Lucas never got touched. And I, I figured maybe he would be the first one to go, but speed is on was on his side, so he was pretty quick to, to hurry up and run around, guys. I love the uh, I love the the pilot cards. They definitely add a little bit more flavor to the game, which is really cool. I like the fact that you get all these extra bonuses with these characters. So man, I, I'm kind of really wanted to try this out again with different mechs and of course uh, different pilots. 
because uh, that adds a totally new different flavor to the game and it just uh it it, it it makes it to where it's not just your basic two mech versus two mech because with these pilots you get an extra spiciness to the to the mech and those missiles man they were pretty dirty once they got close range because you get all those bonus modifiers to the amount of missiles that actually hit so um that was really really cool i i, I, th I thought i really enjoyed that with the with the pilots and pretty much everything i used here it, it's in that starter that you that you purchase uh, the only thing of course is you don't get all the mechs you'll be receiving the cardboard mechs which the locust is right there and then the thunderbolt is right there so i just happened to have a chance to purchase some uh plastic miniatures and just painted them up right quick and use them for the game so if you have this starter you can just pop out those those plastic those uh cardboard ones and you can pretty much play the same scenario here and just have extra max so i i'm gonna i want to try and maybe get the four on four and if i haven't gotten the book by then i'm gonna definitely try this out this scenario out again uh maybe not this scenario i'll probably do the one where you get points for running off the board as well as scoring for destroying mechs but regardless we'll try to run a little bit more classic battle tech on the channel next up will probably be an alpha strike battle report that we're going to go ahead and try since i bought those extra alpha strike cards so you're probably going to be seeing a bigger battle with that um probably i'll be using this kind of terrain as well since i really don't have a, a big mat for that but uh, you'll probably be seeing that a little bit later on down the road but uh if, uh, if you guys spotted anything i did wrong hey always feel free to comment below i'm always reading all the comments and trying to respond to every single one of you guys and just keep in mind guys we are not getting paid to do this catalyst games does not hire us at all this is all our love for the game we love playing the game i love playing the game classic and alpha strike i'm enjoying both games so just keep that in mind that everything i'm purchasing i'm actually buying i'm not getting any free stuff from these guys so this is all stuff that i just need to purchase which little by little i'm picking stuff up but if you've seen other videos there is other games that we are trying to bring to the channel as well but uh other than that it's going to be it for this one guys like and subscribe don't forget so you won't miss out on the content keep rolling dice and always paint your walls crimson guys have a good night thanks